As a WordPress web designer who designs websites for your clients, it can quickly get expensive to buy themes and plugins that you use for your work. And oftentimes, the price of these themes and plugins can cause you to lose clients or even eat into your profit. In this video, I'm going to show you a legal way to get most popular themes and plugins for a relatively cheaper cost. Now, don't forget to use my link in the description for a better deal on the platform I'm about to share with you. Now, let's get into it. Now, the website is WordPress It, and I know most of you may have heard about this platform and you've been wondering whether or not you should use it. And there are tons of uh, websites on the internet like this that promises to give you premium uh, plugins and themes for cheap or even for free sometimes. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this website and websites like this and how to make sure you don't get yourself into trouble. You don't want to get into legal trouble. You also don't want to compromise the security of your websites. I've been testing this website for well over a year now. I started testing it from April of last year. As you know, I like to test out these things myself before I give a verdict. And I've actually been testing this out for well over a year. You can see the plethora of themes that we have here and plugins over 70, about 70 pages of themes. And there is also a lot of plugins on the platform, about 160 pages of plugins and all of them going for about $5 each. That is if you want to buy individual plugins and themes, some of them about $8. But the best way to use this website will be with the subscriptions. There's a subscription for a month, six months, and one year, but the best value for your money would be the lifetime subscription, which gives you access to um, lifetime access to all the plugins and themes on the platform. You get unlimited daily downloads. You have access to all 4,000 plus plugins and themes. You have support and also automated um, updates. That is what you get with that subscription. Now, there's a very important and legit question that a lot of people have, which is how come I'm able to get these plugins and themes for so inexpensive on this website when if I'm buying directly from the developers, I'm getting it for way, way more expensive. Now, keep in mind that I always advocate getting your plugins and themes directly from the developers if you can afford to. But that said, it is also possible for you to get this thing legally for as cheap as you've seen it on this platform because of something known as GPL, which is general public licensing. As you know, WordPress is an open source platform, and this also transcends to most of the plugins and themes that are developed for WordPress. Hence the GPL licensing. It's a very special type of licensing. I'm not going to go into all the technical details, but just as the name implies general public license, it technically means that anyone who gets a license, even though that they have paid for it, they have the license to modify those themes and plugins and also they can redistribute the themes and plugins therefore they can set their prices and make it as uh, inexpensive as they possibly can but keep in mind that there are a lot of websites like this that i have tested as well and i've actually had my uh, plugins break on me on websites and compromise the security of of the website i have them installed on while i was testing out very many different platforms like this if you do a Google search of any plugin or thing that you want to use uh, and you put the word Nord or free at the end, you would find a plethora, a ton of plugins and themes that are offered to you for free and very, very inexpensive like what I've showed to you. But a good number of them are not secure and not safe for you to use. WordPress is the only one at this moment that I can say I've tested and is very secure and safe for you to use. But to further prove to you that WordPress it is a safe to use website, this is a website I use to test plugins I get from pretty much anywhere that is not directly from a developer. So I'm going to upload a plugin that I've downloaded from WordPress, it, which is um, Elementor Pro, and it's going to run a quick search. And as you can see, it says no security vendors flag this file as malicious. So what this website does is basically run a test with many different antivirus softwares to find any malwares that might be embedded in the code of the plugins or themes that you upload onto this website. There are also some other websites that compare the codes of the plugin that you've uploaded against the original one from the developers to see if there are any any differences or anywhere there might be malwares embedded. And yeah, this is a quick way for you to um, check to see if there is malware in the plugin or the thing that you've downloaded from any site. So all in all, to answer the question to all of the WordPress web developers have been asking me this question, should I use WordPress it? I have used it, I've tested it for well over a year. In my personal experience, 
I think they are safe to use. I think they're going to save you a lot of money in the long run. And especially if you are somebody who is just beginning, you don't have a lot of money to buy premium plugins and some of them could be recurring. You have to pay every month or every year. And even if you're a professional web developer and you have the budget to buy premium plugins, this is also a nice thing to just have in your arsenal to know that you have access to a plethora of plugins and themes all at your disposal with just one um, simple subscription, one lifetime subscription. Don't forget to use my link in the description to get a great deal and 